I'm Jordan and I'm doing the weekly Devo this week and I want to talk about thankfulness. So um, Harvard did a research study on thankfulness and I thought it was so cool. They called it a gratitude research and it was conducted by um, two psychologists from different universities um, and they'd done a lot of research on gratitude actually. So, But in this one study, they asked all participants to write a few sentences each week focusing on a particular topic. One group wrote about things they were grateful for that had occurred during the week. A second group wrote about daily irritations or things that had displeased them. And a third wrote about events that had affected them with no emphasis on them being either positive or negative. After 10 weeks, those who wrote about gratitude <clears throat> were more optimistic and felt better about their lives. And surprisingly, they also exercised more and had fewer visits to the doctor than those who focused on sources of aggravation. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. You know, it's not just a church thing to be thankful. Um, even Harvard knows how important it is to be thankful. Um, but looking at it from the point of view of like the church, um, did you know that thankfulness is mentioned over 70 times just in the New Testament? And it's mentioned about 36 times in 24 different Psalms. So basically one out of every six Psalms reminds us to be thankful. That's a lot. Like there's a lot of Psalms. <laughs> so I thought that was really cool. Um, and it's so easy for us to fall into like discontentment and feeling envious or that mindset of the grass is greener on the other side. And even like disappointment and anger over things that happen or don't happen. Um, and all of that quickly, quickly can lead to depression. And I feel like that's happening a lot in our world today um, for various different reasons. And thankfulness can be such a turnaround for us. Being thankful is so detrimental to our attitudes, our mental health, and especially our faith walk. Um, it's so important. And I wrote down a few of my favorite Bible verses about thankfulness. Um, the first one is Philippians 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And then Psalms 106, 1 says, praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his steadfast love endures forever. If you have nothing to be thankful for, you can be thankful that the Lord is good. And then Psalms 104, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Doesn't reading those just like make you happy? <laughs> it's amazing. The word of God is amazing, especially when it's talking about giving thanks to the Lord because he deserves it. He deserves it. Um, so I also looked up some benefits to being thankful that we can apply to like our everyday lives. Um, one of them really applies to like when you're at work, um, saying thank you to, uh, coworkers, employees, employers, customers, whatever, um, motivates those people to work harder. And that's super cool. Like you don't have to be stern with people. You can be thankful and it will motivate them. And it also improves relationships. Like if you are grateful and you say thank you often in whatever relationships you have, it will improve them. It improves your mental health. It improves your sleep quality. Who needs a better night's sleep? Like everybody. <laughs> so be thankful and you'll sleep better. It improves how you regulate your emotions. Um, that's amazing. <laughs> we could probably all use a little bit of that. Um, it increases feelings of happiness. Who doesn't want to feel happier? Be thankful. And it also, big one, reduces stress. Amazing. And one of the last but best benefits is it fosters hope. 
we need so much more hope in our lives and in this world today. And thankfulness is going to get us there to hope. I love that. So I want to challenge you guys this week that at the end of every day, write down three things that you're thankful for from that day. Um, just, they does, it doesn't have to be like super long. You can just write three words, like, you know, since something simple, um, anything that you can pick out of your day that you're thankful for. And if you can't think of anything, you could write down Jesus, <laughs> roof over my head, food to eat. Like go back to the basics if you have to, and it will grow from there. I promise you, I've been doing that, um, for almost two years now. I downloaded an app on my phone um, and there's lots of them. You could look on whatever Play Store you have on your phone for like a gratitude journal or thankful apps. Um, but every single night I get a notification on my phone to write down what I'm thankful for. And you know, there are days where I really have to think about it, but find something simple. And then there's days where I just can't stop typing because there's so many things I'm thankful for. So I bet that some things will start to improve for you if you do this. And by the end of the week, you're not going to be able to stop at three things um, because thankfulness is contagious and it grows. And you know, we don't have to wait until Thanksgiving to be thankful. You can start today. So I just want to encourage you guys with that, um, that there's always something to be thankful for and to practice Thanksgiving and you will see the benefits in your life, in your walk with God, everywhere. So I hope you guys have a blessed week and remember to be thankful.